Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm chopping up another dress today. So I have, oh, Queen Bee is joining in the action. So I had another old dress that didn't fit and I know what you're thinking. Would you not maybe go to the gym and try and fit into the old dresses? But when you're over 30, I think your bones just widen. <laughs> so I had this old dress, absolutely loved the fabric. It was just snug under the bust area, but the skirt of it fitted. So I decided to chop it up into three items. And I still have some scrap left over that I'm gonna keep in my pile. Um, I could like patchwork it or something. I'm gonna get straight into the video and you can see how I recycled one of my old dresses. Don't throw things out, turn it into something new. Straight into it, thumbs up if you like it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the sub button and let's get into it. So here is the dress before. I adored this print. This dress was originally from a brand called Closet London and I probably have it about four years. Adore the fabric, really want to reuse it and I don't want to just throw it away. First thing I do is I take the skirt away from the body of the dress. As you can see there is pleats in the skirt so when I cut through this and open up I have tons of fabric. I also cut through the zipper. I did want to reuse the zipper but it was longer than I originally thought. I am going to use an elasticated waist to make my skirt. Really simple to do. If you are a beginner sewing, you will love this. So first thing I did was I roughly measured my hip to see how much fabric I needed. Don't worry about your waist being big because you are gonna pop in an elasticated waist. Make sure that the sides, that you have got enough fabric and enough room for the sides. Then I decided to fold down the top and make a kind of like a loop for the elastic to go through. Once I had made a funnel for my elastic, I brought it to the machine, gave it a stitch, and then you'll see me using a safety pin where I brought the elastic all the way through, which you're gonna see now. You will also see me closing up the sides, just make sure right sides of your fabric together and you can't go too far wrong. The great thing about this is I didn't have to hem the bottom of the skirt because it was already hemmed and I didn't cut that part. I hate hemming things because I can never get it absolutely perfect. Um, so to not have to hem the bottom of this was bliss. Next up, I still have loads of fabric left over. I decided to make myself a matching pouch. So I didn't want to waste the fabric. And you might remember about two weeks ago, I made a DIY makeup bag video from an old Cat Kids and skirt. I will pop in a card and you can catch a link below to that video. So I decided to make a pouch. I made it slightly different. I didn't put like a box end on it. I just kept this flat because I want to use it as a clutch. 
All I needed to make the pouch was, I used some iron-on interfacing, which I'm popping on now, and I used an eight inch zipper. You can customize your pouch to be as small or as big as you can. If you want a more detailed video on how to make the pouches, do check out the one where I chopped up a skirt, because you can see how I kind of sandwich all of the pieces together and how I actually make it. I didn't want to waste the straps off the dress. So these are the ties on the back of the dress. So I decided to make a headband or a neck scarf because they are super trendy. They look really, really cute, um, especially for summertime. So I simply just cut them off. I stitched them together. I just use a scalloped edge scissors to stop any fabric from fraying. I done a zigzag stitch to stick them together. Quick iron. I ironed the seams out flat and it was good to go. And you can style this either as a headband or you can tie it around your neck. And also all of the pieces that I made today, you don't have to wear them all together. You can mix it up and wear one thing at a time.
have a whole new outfit. I actually made this um, on a Saturday afternoon and I texted my friends and I was like, I've made an outfit, can we go out? <laughs> so there's obviously a million ways you can make a skirt. If you are brand new shampoo and maybe you don't want to tackle inserting a zipper or you mightn't have enough fabric, you can just do this simple elasticated waist. And the best thing about the elastic waist is, you know, it's roomy. I'm actually going to be going on holidays um, soon, so I'm definitely going to pack that in my case because it has the lovely elastic waist. That could be like my dinner outfit. <laughs> Get the room. <laughs> Obviously, it goes without saying if you have an old piece of clothing, you can like donate it. But if you're like me and you love the fabric, if you've seen my previous video where I chopped up the Cat Kitson skirt, I love that fabric so much and I wanted to, you know, keep it and make it new. So yes, give stuff away to charity, but if you adore something and it's just sitting in the wardrobe and you're admiring it, why not just take the scissors to it and make it into something new, reuse the fabric, give it a brand new lease of life. Everything can be Re reborn, rebirthed. <laughs> Thumbs up, Blondie. Do you like my skirt? Well, she sat on my skirt, so I think that's a yes. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to me and Blondie. We'll catch you next week. Yeah. <laughs>